Today I'm reviewing the zombie VR game, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, and yes, this is based off of that hit TV show, The Walking Dead. Now when you first start the game, it takes you to this training center. I'm gonna be honest here, I absolutely hate zombie games, TV shows, movies. Oh so this, this game for me was extremely terrifying. I know a lot of people that love this game. It is so much fun because it's so immersive. But for me, the only reason that I played it was because I stream on Twitch. And this was kind of a reward for my viewers for them to watch me suffer. Okay. I don't have to get so close to them. I don't like being all This game is personal. your standard zombie apocalypse game where you have to go out and survive and um, kill oh. zombies. Oh, All right, not. enough of the tutorial and time for the gameplay. Well, well, I'll be down. The tourist in the flesh. Oh. Can you see my heart rate on the bottom left corner? I'm literally not even doing anything and it is so high for no reason yeah but if the city is where you're headed well i suspect your story is just beginning at this point all i'm thinking is f f f f f what did i get myself into why did i agree to this oh my god Yeah, so the controls of this game, I mean, it really depends on what weapon you have at the moment. I think at the moment I had, what was that, a knife? I lost my axe, I don't know. Oh, I can't. I can't. Check out my heart rate, 152. And this is my pup, Ari. She Why is a husky and there she me. is taking care of me. All right, let's 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 get back into it. Oh gosh. Yeah, so you're in this graveyard and you just have to walk around, kill some zombies, look for stuff. Um, okay, what am I holding here? Oh, here I am, I'm holding an ax. So this thing's pretty cool. You have to use the ax to blind it um, to order, in order to have good control over it. But obviously I am just struggling. Like I said, all these VR, well, all these zombie games in general, I'm just not my freaking thing, man. This game has a pretty good storyline. This guy is giving me some stuff and I'm putting it behind me. You see me reaching behind to put it in my backpack. Die on me! Oh yeah, and I guess I was still holding my axe when I was putting it in my backpack, so I accidentally killed him and I didn't even get to hear what he actually had to say. Cool. This game is single player, by the way, so super creepy. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was hoping that maybe if I hit him, he'll come back to life. Honestly, I don't know. Club. Eventually, you do end up to a base camp. It's this old abandoned school bus and you have a backpack where you get to put some stuff in this has all the elements of a survival game so there's the bandages so you can heal yourself there's going to be food um and if you're hungry your stamina is lower and you won't be able to run away from the zombies as fast um i think you saw me put in a pistol into my backpack that was actually a broken pistol and you'll need to collect different items in order to craft to in order to craft like the pistol and other i don't know stuff that you'll need to survive a zombie apocalypse now there's this little boat here and a map and these are all the different locations you can go through to throughout the game each of the locations has its own objective its own quest that you can you can accomplish I'm gonna do a quick same shameless plug right here. If you're liking this video, please give it a like and maybe leave a comment and let me know. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I will be posting more virtual reality videos. And also if you wanna see me play games live, I am on Twitch, twitch.tv slash cup of jasmine. 
overall, I would say this game is a lot of fun. It has hey. amazing controls. It's super cool oh. that you have a backpack, that you get to repair this radio, for example, that you get okay. different types of weapons, that there's all these different locations that you can go. See the stars, right? Oh, they're going to come out. Honestly, the ambiance of this game is amazing. I was so terrified the entire the entire time I played it. Um, I have heard of people who, after they played it for the first time, they put it down and didn't play again for another month because they were so scared. In fact, I also had my sister try this game, and she just, yeah, she was just so freaked out. The game is so scary. I think I'd rather watch somebody would. Um, search the blue mansion for a microphone. What the heck is the blue mansion? Is that in the shallows? Well, what do you do when it's nighttime in here? What do you do? I did good things, Jaws. Oh my gosh. I would say overall, like, this game is super I'm immersive. Like, so if you like please. being scared, you like Why zombies, you, you like, I guess, killing things, solving puzzles, I would definitely okay. recommend this game. Can for me, though, the faint of heart. I, I I probably played about a total of two hours, and then I, my little heart just couldn't take it anymore. Over here. I also thought that the NPCs in this game were pretty cool. Over here. My husband. He's tough. What do you gain threatening me like this? It's so awesome that she reacts to my acts like that's cool. I will put him to rest. You will? Thank you. That is so kind. Here, take this key. I locked Ruben in a room. Second floor of the Blue Mansion, just up the street. I noticed your watch. Looks like you've got the alarm in sync with the chiming bells that rile up the walkers every day. Smart. No idea what Don't I agreed to. Hi, crab man. When this place is overrun by the dead. Just watching this gameplay back gave me the heebie-jeebies. But anyway, let me know what you think of this review. Um, it's, I think yeah, it's my first virtual reality game review. So if you like content like this, please let me know so that I can make more because it does take a lot of time and effort to make these. Also, based on this gameplay, what do you think of this game? I mean, would you play it? Have you heard of anyone playing it that liked it? Did you finish it if you did play it? And um, would you be interested in more virtual reality games like this? Let me know in the comments below. Um, okay, I don't... I actually don't think I can keep going. <laughs> I think I'm too stressed out now. Pretty please do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.